Hello from the beach club. So last time we were at a hotel, we didn't know when we would be back at one, and we're back. So beach club is one that we have not stayed at yet. I was at the villa once a long time ago, but it's good to be back here. Love this hotel. Now it is under refurbishment um, in the store, so there's a temporary store we're gonna check out. Definitely gonna take advantage of the pool today, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're over in the villa building now. The full hotel has reopened, but um, we're not staying in like the normal building. So if you're familiar with it, blue buildings are the normal hotel. Green is the villa. So we're in the green building, and we'll I'm sure show the outside of the building in a little bit. But normally up here on the right would be where the marketplace is which is under construction, so they are renovating it. Now we saw that the windows are like fully blacked out um, and we do smell paint, so seems like a pretty extensive overhaul, which is exciting. So here's a little sign. So they're using the solarium and they have um, some food in there because the marketplace is also their quick service location. So they're, they move that into the solarium as well as like a temporary store. So we'll go check that out. All right, so we begin with some drinks, since this is, again, like a store and food. So here we got alcohol as well as some food you could be um, cooking in your room if you're at a villa. Of course, like the typical candy selection, which right now says the Goofy and the Chippendale candy is buy one, get one. So that's exciting. I love the Goofy Candy Company, and I never get it. Ooh, and they got Mickey, like chocolate. I think we're going to have to take advantage of that. Hello. So that's exciting. Birthday cake chocolate? Yeah. I want that. Peanut butter. And then here's like the temporary store they've set up. So we begin with standard like 2020 stuff. Got some shirts here. All 2020 merchandise. Now it is on sale I think. Yeah, buy one get one. Alright, I love that they're playing the Today Channel in here. Sounds exciting. Then they got some fruit and some desserts with some different Rice crispy treats. And also it looks like a Halloween colored one. And then here is, oh yeah, so this is the food they currently That's offer really here. Good. Yeah, so we were debating if we go eat at Ale and Compass's yeah. Lounge for dinner. I'll take this one. You have to come here for breakfast. We could come here for breakfast. That, that could be good. Really good but like, so does a cheesesteak roll. It sounds good yeah, too. Yeah, it's a roll. It all sounds good. Which, I don't, I think that's this here in the cabinet, maybe? Yeah, it's one of those. So that's cool. So this is the menu. So they are still serving breakfast and lunch and dinner in here, which I think this is a portion of like their normal menu. I don't know if it's everything. Then they have coffee bar and tea. So I'm sure it's Joffrey's coffee, which is what they normally serve throughout the property, as well as some pastries. And here is the pricing and menu for those. So if you're here in the future, in the near future, while they're still renovating the marketplace, they have like a legit setup here. Here's all of the coffee, creamers, and sugar. They got all kinds of condiments you can buy for your room. More refrigerated, like, snacks. So, yeah, there's a bit here. It's definitely more food, I think, than store. But they have some Halloween. The glow items are still $10, so they're, like, marked down, kind of. Have some clothing from Halloween, the new masks, which they do have the sticker here, which I don't think we talked about it when we saw the mask before. So they changed the mask. So like we have Disney masks. Yeah, the one I'm wearing right now. It's yeah, like so this cloth. Mickey one, it's like a cotton. Yeah. And they're they're not bad, but they're not super comfortable. These are a more breathable, like I don't know how to describe it, but they're not really cotton. Is it like the universal one? Yeah. yeah, so if you have a universal mask or if you've seen them before, they're more like a for like lack of a better word, like a dry fit material, they're more breathable. So they did change them, so that's exciting. Looks like they have like some pre-wrapped gift bags you can get for your room. Oh, are these new? I haven't seen these yet. I just got these, but I like those. <laughs> Time to get all the Halloween ears. They're so I really like they keep coming out with like leather, like fake leather ears. Yeah. Like the ones that are just the Mickey. Because the sequin ones can be a lot. Yeah, no, these like those are cool. They match your lounge fly. That's true. Oh my god. And then they have the trick or treat bag down here. And then some kids' shirts. Trick or treat bucket and stuffed animals. And this takes us over to the back to the villa building, so we'll probably go out there. Oh, they got the beach club merchandise here. That's exciting. Ooh, that's a cool shirt. So it's got the if we'll show it as well, but out by the pool, Stormalong Bay, which is the most popular resort on Disney or popular pool on Disney property. Have the giant slide and you climb a pirate ship to get on it. I really like that shirt. 
So that is a cool shirt. And this shirt's got Ariel on it. And there's a statue of her outside of the villa building. So she has her beach club representation. It's a long sleeve shirt. Got a mug, water bottle, as well as a hat with like a little Ariel charm. And there's a beach club polo shirt, a beach club pullover. This shit says beach club resort. Like a little artwork, magnet, um, which is Ariel again. Pin, keychain, and an ornament. It's a cool, cool ornament of Ariel. And then they got some suitcases. And then over here is just all like the DVC stuff. And you can find that all the different DVC hotels. So nothing unique to Beach Club, but they do offer it here because the villas are DVC. And I think the DVC stuff kind of wraps around here, I'm sure. Yeah, all, all DVC back here. And then they do have a freezer so you can get your premium bars here. All right, so we came out of the solarium and we could have gone directly into the villa building, but instead we're heading this way back into the lobby so we can cut back towards the pool so we can go sh show ooh, almost tripped so we can go show off storm along bay before we get changed into bathing suits and go there ourselves um i have not been in storm along bay in a very long time so i am very excited it is a sand bottom pool there's like a lazy river a whirlpool and it is the most popular pool property, so they are usually pretty strict about it. So you do have to be staying here to go into it. So it's exciting. We're going to finally be able to get past the gate. All right, so the hours were posted 10 to 10. So it's actually open a little bit, little bit later than we thought. There's definitely a bit of people here, um, but we'll be able to find like little corners to hide in like we always do. So this is actually where the slide comes out right here. And it kind of goes on forever. So we're just going to kind of work our way around um, but it is a sand bottom pool as I mentioned right up here is the whirlpool so it is a little more unique from a lot of the other pools because it does kind of have like those elements that a lot don't so right here is the little whirlpool you can kind of float around in it is shared between beach and yacht club so that is probably why it's a little bit busier because um, they did reopen so they're both kind of fully open resorts at this point. Some have still not reopened beyond just like the DVC sections or some haven't reopened at all. But Beach and Yacht are, some, are two that have reopened. So that definitely brings a lot more people back. But it just kind of keeps going on forever. Oh yeah, over here is nobody. So this will be the part of the pool that I find myself hanging out at. So that's exciting. And there's a waterfall, which is incredible. And then right to our right, which I'll show in just a second, is Beaches and Cream, um, which we've eaten at before. I think we had a vlog where, yeah, we definitely did. We showed eating at Beaches and Cream. And they do have a walk-up, um, or to, like, to-go ice cream window back there. So I think we'll be doing that. But yeah, this section of the pool is huge, and there's nobody here. And it keeps going back as well, but I'm not going to, like... Actually, we can go across this bridge. Why not? So... There's definitely sections that are busy um, over by the slide, which is not too big of a surprise. And then there's sections that are much quieter. And over here is actually the Lazy River section, which again, doesn't really seem to have many people at all. It's not like a huge Lazy River, but it is much quieter. And you can also make out the sail of the slide back there. Um, so you have to kind of cross the path that goes around the whole boardwalk resort area and then enter the ship, climb the mat of the mast and then go down the slide so yeah he's kind of calling, going on forever if you see those like little cabanas that's kind of like the far end of the pool back there so very big pool and it goes all the way to those umbrellas in the distance as well because that's more of the yacht club side but it is a shared pool so you can use the whole thing so very impressive pool last time i think we walked by here the pool hadn't reopened so yeah, it's a giant wall. very very different like atmosphere now that the pool is open to all so i'm sure we'll be trying to come back here for a little bit later to enjoy it while we're staying here all right and we are back at the beach club villas this is the main entrance for the villas with the little aerial statue now they are doing some kind of construction i guess um there are there's some equipment back here but i don't know what they're doing maybe just like repainting uh, but nothing's like closed or anything but Ariel's welcoming us back home. All right, welcome to our deluxe studio at the Beach Club. 
So, first thing here on the right side, I'm gonna turn the light on as well. Got a little closet here. So you got your iron, got extra pillow and blanket, hangers, all the stuff you find in all the closets in the different hotels here at Disney. Got the safe out here on the wall instead of in the actual closet. So there's a good way to view how big the safe is. You could probably fit a laptop in there sideways. Then you got the big bathroom here on the left. So unlike some of the other ones we stayed at, this is just one giant room. So it is a pretty big bathroom. Probably like pretty close to what we had at Riviera. So you got your makeup mirror, big sink here in the mirror, and then it is a tub and shower. So some of them are like walk-in showers. This one's a tub and a shower with our individual toiletries back there. Then directly across from the bathroom is the little kitchenette. Um, it's pretty much identical to what we had most recently at Beach uh, Bay Lake, or at Beach Club now, not Bay Lake, um, with the microwave. You got your fridge down here, coffee maker, sink. Um, now I think, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Bay Lake had a toaster as well, and I don't see one here. Oh, just kidding, it's up there. So in the cabinet, it's hiding. Then this is the room. So this one's pretty big. Um, I do like this room. So I stayed here once in the villas. I've been to Beach Club many times, but only once in the villa, and they re they renovated them since I was last here, because this does look a lot nicer than it used to. Um, so you got lights over the bed with a huge mirror here. Uh, not, I feel like, as much artwork as some of the other hotels. Like, it is a more plain room, but it looks really nice. I like the color and everything in here. This part, I think, is really cool. So, this is, like, the table and chair for the room. But I don't really... We haven't played around with it yet to see how it works. But this is also the pull-down Murphy bed. Because this room can sleep... I guess this one can sleep five. Because the sofa is a pull-out bed as well. Yeah, so five. Um, so you pull the chairs out and then this table like slides down somehow um, And then you pull it on the bed Got lots of storage in here. So you got drawers on either side of it as well as in the nightstand So a decent bit of drawers Looks like we got some outlets behind the clock here. Let's see if there's any USB yeah. There are so that's um, Two outlets two yes two USB ports and then the phone table with an extra drawer in the table as well for some more storage um, plenty of room to like slide into the corner if you want to convert the sofa into the bed and I got like a nice little beach painting here like some little <laughs> beach shacks and then we got our balcony which I didn't even realize this is very different I think this is the first one we've been in that isn't a sliding door oh my gosh I didn't even know this so let's take a look at our balcony. Did I lock it? Oh, there's two locks. It pushes out. That's the secret. So this is our view. So we have what I think is considered like the forest view. Um, so we got like a look at the path down here, which goes along the backside of the villa building. Um, so if you're familiar with Beach Club, the villas are the green building. And then the normal Beach Club is the blue building. Now we can see the top of the boardwalk from here. So like kind of straight past. And then Tower of Terror in the corner. So I guess you could kind of call that a theme park view. It's definitely a theme park view because we can see the backside of Eggpot too. And right through the trees, you see the Skyliner there that's going down to the International Gateway. And then right past this tree, we can see Eiffel Tower. Um, so you can see the backside of World Showcase, which is pretty cool. And I think you can see the backside of UK through the trees as well. It is hard to see. It's not like a great view of Epcot, but it is there. Because um, we are very close and you have the International Gateway entrance that's in walking distance. That's a huge park at Beach Club. So it's been years since I stayed here and I'm very excited to be back because I do love this resort. But um, yeah, our view kind of makes it feel like we're in the middle of like the Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall like huge room, definitely renovated and nice. And I'm excited to kind of see what we do tonight. Definitely taking advantage of the pool. All right, that is going to be it for our <laughs> Beach Club video. Um, so it was a shorter video, but we did have fun. Yeah. Um, it's still night number one, but we are going to be heading to the parks tomorrow. If you didn't see our little hint for where we're going check out our room tour uh, <laughs> but um, we did go to the pool for a while which I didn't bring my GoPro so didn't film oh, in the yeah, pool I at forgot. all oh, I didn't well. feel like like 
Because I didn't want to leave it on the chair like unsupervised and since Stormalong yeah. Bay is a huge pool. Oh my god, it was... I didn't think I was going to want to like yeah, be I filming, like have the camera stuck on my wrist the whole time. But um, by the time we did go down to the pool, so like we came back to the room after walking around or anything, it was much quieter than yeah. when we went down to film the first time. So it wasn't bad. Yeah. So we had fun, did the slide and everything, so that was cool. Yeah. Then we got beaches and cream. Oh. Um, so we planned, so like... I feel so, like that was like a whole, like it yesterday. Was, uh, it was a long time ago. So basically our plan was to get beaches and cream and to go to Ale and Compass Lounge at Yacht Club. Oh yeah, we didn't... <laughs> I completely forgot about all of this. <laughs> so this was the plan because we didn't have a reservation um, because we have one tomorrow. So subscribe to our channel to see where we go tomorrow. But um, we we're gonna go to Ale and Compass Lounge for dinner and get appetizers and then have ice cream. Then we saw that Ale and Compass Lounge was open until 11 and beaches and cream was open until nine. So we decided to get ice cream first so we were at the pool until like eight something. Then we got some ice cream, which was good, but I didn't have the camera down there because we were at the pool. Then we came back here to shower quickly and then we went to Ale and Compass Lounge. When we got there, it was full. So I went up and asked like the bartender if they had room for two people because I didn't see any tables, but I wasn't sure if like they knew that like a party was about to get up or anything. And I guess he assumed we were under 21 because he basically said like, oh, the restaurant closed at nine o'clock. So there's no food available and basically told us to leave. But like, we could have stayed for drinks if we wanted, but the whole point was we were going for food anyway. So that did not work out. And we got there a little before 10, but by the time we were told they didn't have food anymore, it was after 10, mm -hmm. which I think the app said they were serving food until 10, but he told us nine. And then it was after 10 o'clock and everything on property shut down. Yeah. <laughs> so all the stores closed, so we couldn't go to like the market. We couldn't go to the solarium to get food. No. Um, the boardwalk bakery, yeah, we, the pizza window. <laughs> we walked over to the, to the boardwalk. We wanted to do a photo booth picture because the we did- photo booth is closed too. <laughs> because we did one back in February and it, we wanted to do another one, but that was closed. So we just did like a full lap around the boardwalk. There was nothing. And um, then we just started like joking around and being like, oh, well, there's always McDonald's. And we were like, well, I guess that works. And that's what we did, which I do think, so Martha's Vineyard is the lounge in the beach club and that said it was open until 11. And I don't think that, because Ale and Compass is a restaurant and a lounge. So they said the restaurant closed, so their kitchen closed, so they didn't have food. But I feel like on the app it also said that they stopped serving food at 10. It did, which was wrong, um, apparently. But Martha's Vineyard is like right next to um, the clam bake, and that's not open. So I don't know if they would have had food later at night because like it's its own thing right now. So maybe that would have had food if we ended up going there, but the menu wasn't that great, so we didn't try. So went to McDonald's, drove over and picked it up. It was a very good experience there. We did eat it on our balcony, yeah. which um, was fun because the boardwalk's lit up. We can see Epcot, the Gusto sign yeah, for Ratatouille's lit up, um, which is not open yet, but it's that. lit up. So it worked out. It wasn't really what our plan was, but it was fine. So that was how we ended our night at Beach Club. But we will be heading to the parks in the morning and checking out, so there's nothing else we'll be doing here at the resort. Um, if we have breakfast or something, I'll throw that in, but I don't know if we're gonna get up early enough for that. We usually don't. No, we, we always get up like... Like just in just time, in time to like leave. Last time at Bay Lake, we literally left the room at... Like, like 11 on the dot. Yeah. So... <laughs> We'll see, but if, if most likely this is it. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see where we're going next, which if you saw a room tour, I have my droids, so we're going to Hollywood Studios. Oh. Um, so we'll be riding on our railway. We'll be going to Galaxy's Edge. I brought my costume that I wore last year for Not So Scary to take some fun pictures with my droid. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. So definitely subscribe to our channel and check out our day at Hollywood Studios. But thanks for watching, and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and beyond.